Hello guys, it's Krasnix, and today I'm going to show you something about my project. Not everything, but in small details, like a Karina, playing a Karina, and something like that. And I want to show you the mechanics of playing a Karina. And many people uh, told me it looks very cool when you are playing a Karina and the fingers are moving or something like that and today I want to show you uh, how I did that and in the Unreal Engine I'm using mostly Blueprint because it's uh, much easier to program uh, with Blueprint and with C++ it's way harder but I heard C++ is much much better because of the performance but yeah, I will show you first how it looks like in the blue blend. And I will open up um, first a uh, uh, Karina. And uh, so, so first, wait, I will show you first. Um, when I start to play with the ocarina, um, many people told me it looks so cool when he's playing ocarina with his fingers, you see? And this, uh, I want to show you how to do it. Um, not uh, perfectly, I, I will apologize in advance. Because my uh, English is not very good, uh, but I try my best to uh, show you that stuff. But maybe you will learn from this. <laughs> so, um, so this is the uh, blueprint ocarina, and here is um, the stuff when you press the button. Um, it will play exactly the sound from the melody. Um, each button has their own unique uh, sound. So we going next. Here are the buttons for the, how to say, uh, for the melody. Um, here, every checks um, are here. Like um, when you press a melody, it will check if you um, if you exactly pressed all the buttons for the sound. So um, and if you have the um, uh, if you press the song correctly, then it will say true. And then it will say correct. And then it will go. Wait a second. Exactly. Then it will say correct. And then it will fire this one. And it will uh, open up the widget. Wait, I will uh, uh, show you. This is when, uh, if you play the song correctly, then it will open up the widget. This is when it says you're playing the song, Son of the uh, Sun Song or Song of. Uh, <laughs> exactly when the song is correct, then um, it will come up with this one. So. So yeah, it will uh, check if you played the song, and then it will come up the sound of the song. Uh, no, um, then it will come like the song uh, notification, correct? Um, and then the particle effect coming, uh, spawning here, uh, and then the widget, and yeah. That's the part when you play this, try to play the song for 
um, for the each song. So yeah. Um, yes, every check for the song. I know it's a little bit uh, uh, a mess, but I'll try to make it best possible to uh, understand it. So, so this is only uh, for the uh, for checking if the uh, song is correct. Um, next is uh, when um, when he is playing with the ocarina. Many people uh, uh, told me, wow, it looks so cool. And uh, they're always, always uh, telling me that in the comments. So today I want to show you how I did that. I did that with the animation blueprint. Uh, yeah, here. So um, when you press a button, which I'll show you, um, when you press a button, let's say, um, let's say the if you press a button, then uh, the song uh, coming up, and then if the song is coming up, you will trigger a, a boolean, and this is for when um, you are playing the animation for the fingers, so. This is a connection between a pawn player, pawn player, and animation blueprint. So in the animation blueprint, um, it fires up the animation, but the animation will only play when you're playing the ocarina. So um, how I did that exactly? How it's playing only the animation and. Um, I did that um, with blending uh, the bone. So I used only his finger. Um, I will show you that. I used only his finger to to blend only um, bl to blend it uh, to the main animation. So. His main animation is uh, when he's playing ocarina, like uh, doo -doo -doo. where is it? Um, I think it's this one. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, you see, his uh, hand is normal, but um, if each animation it's almost the same, uh, but only uh, the f uh, finger are moving. So when you press the button, then one of the uh, finger is like moving. You see? And I can blend this between the main animation. And the main animation is this one. Um, yeah. I did it like this, yeah. You have to just use one bone, so you have to select the ring ring finger exactly, or the index finger, the middle finger, or the pinky finger. You can blend them easily like this. Um, um, yeah, and um, if you want to play the animation, you have to you have to uh, put uh, the spoolie here. So each time you're pressing the button, I fire this blueprint, a uh, uh, boolean uh, here in the uh, blueprint in the um, sorry in the uh, pawn uh, character. So this looks like this. When you when you fire up only one one uh, melody or song, then if you are releasing the button, it's uh, not playing the animation anymore for the finger. So, um, what can I show you? 
I think that's it, I think. Nothing special, but uh, a lot of people told me it looks really cool, this small detail. <laughs> that makes me always happy. I uh, always watch the uh, um, tutorials of Unreal Engine on YouTube, uh, but I never came up with uh, something like this. So it's my own idea um, and it's very cool. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, there is something, I think, in the me menu. Uh, I think here is just exactly the same, only if, um, if uh, you are playing, uh, not playing with the pawn, except you are in the menu. So I did this mechanic inside the player controller, so you don't have to um, possess a pawn to play the music, uh, except, uh, so you, wait, I will show you, uh, so the um, mechanic is exactly the same, uh, like in, uh, in, uh, the pawn player, so each button is the same mechanic like uh, in the pawn, so it checks every time the song, so yeah, it's exactly the same. And that's for this blueprint is here for learning the song, um, for teaching or learning or whatever in the menu, for example, or if uh, Saria is teaching a song for you, or Marlon, um, yeah, <laughs> um, I think that's it. I'm not sure if I have something in mind. Yeah, I, c I could show you um, with the widget itself. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Uh, uh, where is it? Yeah, you see, I have uh, a little mess, a little bit uh, on my uh, project, but I'm trying to fix everything and sort everything. Uh, da -da. Ah, yeah, I think it's, it's here. Uh, da -da. Okay, every, f every time you are playing a song, every, uh, it will fire up the song here. Yeah. Every time you are did, you did uh, the song correct, like this. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I can show you that in the pause menu. Wait a second. pretty long uh, maybe I can cut it out in the menu <laughs> so you don't have to wait so long for until it's finished so you can like train here uh, it's exactly the same like in the original game 
Um, I think uh, I showed you everything. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, how to do that uh, inside Unreal Engine? It's sometimes very complex, and uh, yeah, maybe um, in, the, in my next uh, video, the next step, I want to show you how to do uh, the pause menu. And yeah, uh, that's my dream to teach you some some uh, things from my uh, project. So maybe you can do it uh, as well. So also for my Patreon people, maybe I will um, share some uh, levels from uh, from my uh, version. So maybe you can uh, use it for your personal project or something like that. It would be cool uh, if I see my own map <laughs> from uh, somewhere else. Would be very cool. Um, what I want to say is, uh, um, I want to give uh, give you a gift uh, today, and uh, you can try it out uh, today. Um, the Temple of Time. It's for everyone on the Unreal Engine 5, so um, you can download it uh, later on the Discord as well. So stay tuned, guys, and. Be hyped. You can even use uh, you can even use uh, DLSS for if you have an RTX card or you can use Lumen Global Illumination. Uh, yeah, you can test it out uh, today uh, on Discord. Just download it and that's it. You don't have. Uh, you don't need to have anything else. <laughs> so, I hope uh, you liked my uh, first video about teaching you something. And I want to say, uh, Sakurai, thanks to him, he, he inspired me to do this because I watched his video and I really like his uh, 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 teaching stuff. learn a lot from him too and yeah if you are a Unreal Engine developer and you know some new stuff how to do some things then I will glad take your advice so I can learn from you as well uh, yeah I think that's it for today and I hope it will be be not the last video. <laughs> I hope I will get uh, a lot of uh, support for this video as well. And yeah, uh, thanks to my Patreon people, you are very, very amazing. I, I'm so speechless about your support, and uh, I hope I can make more stuff for you more rewards like uh, releasing a level for just for you so you can use this level for yourself for your personal project or something like this this is uh, still my next step what i want to do so i hope you still support me and yeah i really appreciate your support and uh, i will never stop this uh, beautiful project yeah. so see you guys and uh, you see us in the next